Hello and welcome back again to another video. In this video, we take a look at two great AI applications that you can generate texts and automatically apply it to your 3D mesh or model. Instead of you generating it and import it into any 3D software so that you can uh, apply it yourself. So let's dive in and look at the first one. So the first one is called Polyhype. A Polyhype is a great place that you can generate texts uh, simply by selecting the model or upload your mess and then you can type in a prompt and generate the texts to be applied to your model. So here you can see since it's in beta and it's not relatively new, so you can see here uh, they got only presets here, uh, these ones are the presets that is used to try it out and to upload your own mess, you can see here it says upload but when you click on here, it says uh, retexturing custom assets is currently disabled but we are allowing people to request whitelist access so if you want to request uh, early access or whitelist access, you can uh, join the Discord server and send the message like uh, I'd love to try Polyhive AI. So once you click on the Discord uh, here, it takes you all the way there. But for now, let's just try it using the presets that is available here. So here we have a kind of a Viking uh, helmet. So in the prompt, I put it as a shiny Viking helmet, a metallic rust, a little rust, and realistic uh, cycle render. And then uh, in the negative prompt, uh, we can put something like, so here I just put something like less contrast and uh, let's see what happened and then brighter. So we want to be more bright, uh, less brighter is enough. Okay, so we said that here you can see some examples by selecting any of this and simply click the presets here and you can uh, uh, generate it. So it takes about five minutes to generate this. So let's get started. Let's click on this uh, generate texture. So to see what happened so you can see it starts uh, generating now so when it's finished uh, we'll be back again so our helmet is done and here is the final result uh, with the texture you can see here uh, nicely detailed here but the resolution is a little bit low so if in the future if the resolution is or uh, there is an option of upscaling it would be much better Okay, so from here, the next step is to uh, import this into any 3D software and you can render it. Now let's um, fire up a Blender and uh, let's uh, import it into Blender and now we can use the cycle to render it. So here we are in Blender 3.5, so let's just um, delete this cube here and go to file and go to import and uh, if you go down here, you can see GLB file or GLTF file, that's the one that we're going to use because the um, AI uh, generated in GLB file. So let's go there and then go to where we have our helmet, which is this one here, and then import it in. Now if you go to the UV editing here, you can see the uh, mess has been nicely unwrapped. And let's take the lightings before we render it. So we go to the lightings here render preview here so you can see it's dark here so what we will do uh, we're going to add a little bit of light to it first so we have our light here so let's just select the light from here grab it uh, hit g and uh, z to bring it uh, up and then g and y to bring it along the y-axis somewhere here and let's go to the settings of lighting here and change this to uh, just go up to 10,000 and uh, just shift D to duplicate the light grab it and X to move to the other side here shift D to duplicate the light again and G and Z to grab it down here and then shift D and G to grab an X to move it across all the way here and now that we have that, let's uh, add the setting of the camera by hitting 0 on the numpad and then uh, N to pull out this panel. To pull out this panel, go to view and then camera to view. So we just set that and uh, hit N again to hide the panel. And then go to uh, output properties here and I just want to change the resolution to a square 1080 by 1080. 
and now let's zoom back out and use the grab tool here to grab it and just want to rotate it like that and let's go again to the render settings uh, in the render engine let's change this to EV in the min uh, time limit here just want to put it as uh, 1.7 minute there and that's it and let's go to render if you want to put a little bit of background you can do that but for now let's go to render and render the image okay so our render is done now so let's go to uh, image here and save the image so there you go that's a great place that you can apply textures uh, using ai to your uh, 3d mask and hopefully uh, in the future they may uh, upscale uh, the option of upscaling the resolution and also allow uh, users to uh, add their own uh, 3d mask okay so that's all for this video thank you